Hello and welcome to another Xterra video where I work on my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And on today's video I'm gonna be installing and testing out more of maybe useless gadgets on my truck. And what I'm gonna be reviewing and testing out and installing in kilometers for off-road trucks or just any trucks, any cars, anything, but it's mainly kind of for the off-road use. So I got a few of them, I bought them myself, so let me guys show you what I got. There you go guys, this is what I got from the cheapest one, which is only like $11 or so, for about $15, $20 and about $40. There is many more units that you can buy that are actually is even more expensive. I actually had one more unit from this company as well. It was actually something that I wanted to install in my truck, it was more expensive, it was about... Uh, $90 but it was on sale for $60 but uh, I already started doing a video on packing and everything but I sent it back because unfortunately it will not work for our use because it has only the degree up to 4 degrees uh, tilt and pitch which is not good for us we need at least up to 40 45 but that unit is very unique it has the independent screen that you can move anyway and it had a separate module that the one that you install anywhere in a truck and that's the one that corresponds the degree at which angle your truck is standing so hopefully this is not going to be the same case over here hopefully this has uh, much more uh, degrees in it so let me guys show you what i got so first of all i got this very cheap very basic unit that is basically a either a water or some kind of leak to get in there and depending how much you tilt the truck that how much it's gonna move I'm pretty sure it can be at any angle as long as it's not flat of course but basically you have to have it as a flat angle so that's one unit we're gonna test it out then we have this which might work might not work this is something to be determined which I'm gonna be testing this is very simple you just put it with M3 tape somewhere and uh, that's it. it should give you the the level but I can kind of already see that this is getting stuck in there, but we'll see. So this is another unit. Now this one might require some wiring. So here's the unit. So this one requires the power. This needs to be connected to the power source in order for it to work or it's cigarette lighter. But this unit is slightly more advanced. It's more sophisticated. It shows the speed, uh, the, the speed that you travel in, the time, altitude and pitch and roll in and and even a compass so we'll test that out as well and then the most expensive one from this list is this one so let's open this one up of course we have our wiring as well we have a double stick tape mounting base and somewhere in here is the unit itself all right that's a pretty nice looking screen i mean out of all of these so far i kind of like this too uh not too sure which one I'm gonna end up keeping, of course. Now this unit also shows the pitch and roll angles among with few other functions. So let me start working on installing some of them and we'll see and we'll test them out. So now I have powered up over here just to cigarette lighter this unit just to test it out. I know probably on the screen it's this one is all blurry or it's all flickery. Unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that but it doesn't flicker of course. But I can actually see when I twist and, and I turn this, it changes the degree back and forth. And the same for the pitch and the roll, of course. And when you exceed certain amount, it starts beeping. So there is some adjustments over here to be done. If you press this button, it's going to dim the screen or make it brighter. We have, over here I have a roll, we have a battery and a pitch over here. with the, And this goes to up to 40 degrees, which is pretty cool, I think. So now I have a second unit connected and over here it shows you the direction, the satellite, the altitude, all kind of settings. If you cycle through this button, over here it's also going to show you the speed. Right now the satellite is blinking red, not sure why. <laughs> I guess it doesn't have a GPS. Anyways, we press it again, it shows you the time and date. And over here it shows you the distance traveled and the speed and the time again. And right here it has, we have the settings over here for the for our pitch and roll, which uh, doesn't look too bad actually. I kind of like this compact design. So if I move this, as you exceed the 30 degrees, it starts beeping. 
So as you go that, that other way, not too sure how it's gonna show on the video, but it's kind of working. So this is not too bad. Of course, this is not a touch screen. So, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Now I'm gonna try to set them up all four units and uh, i'm gonna see which one is actually working which one is not so this simple unit um depending if you twist this back and forth it's already gonna change this location so this has to be mounted straight along with this one now this unit i'm actually planning to kind of temporary or maybe permanently mount it over here i have this wire the one i used to use for tpms sensors which I no longer have, but that's a different story. So, now with the provided wire, which is a pigtail over here on this end, I can get this wire and run it to my fuse box. That way it can have a power there all the, all the time. So that's where I'm gonna mount it over here. I'm gonna mount the other two units over there in the middle. And this one, I'm gonna have it in my inside, inside of my phone holder. I think it's, I think it's gonna fit in there. So, yeah, so we're gonna work on that, mount all of this stuff in here, and uh, we'll see. I mean, this one is very basic, very simple. It's only gonna show you the the roll angle. You're not gonna have a pitch, but it's only eleven dollars. So I'm gonna work on that. Start wiring up those units. This unit over here, getting my wire through, and then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna mount it over here. Now to make my life easier, this cable is actually pretty long. It's coiled up over here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna attach a separate wire to it with a with electrical tape, just a just a little piece of wire. I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna get it over here, and then I'm gonna use that wire to attach this wire and send it down. That way, I'm not gonna lose this wire. I'm still gonna have this in case I ever need it. And I'm gonna have this plug for for this unit as well. All right, I got two wires over here. So now I'm gonna disconnect this over here attach this wire to the gray wire and just pull it down which i have this wire over here as a pulley so that's pretty nice all right perfect i got the wire down here now what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna to my fuse box over there to exactly the same terminals that i had this connector before because i'm either gonna use either that or that i'm not gonna use two things at the same time so that way i can always swap them around if i need to so gonna wire it up to my fuse box, mark that cable, and then I'm gonna work on figuring out how I'm gonna mount it over here, how I'm gonna secure it. Now to mount this over here, what I'm actually gonna do, I have these uh, magnets with a hole inside. So I'm gonna use uh, this number six screws, gonna make a hole in the middle, put a nut over there, and, and that's it. It's gonna be magnet held over here. That's going to be very strong and this unit is very light, so yeah, because um, I could use this uh, double stick tape, but I'm afraid it's going to come off and if I ever need to adjust it with this one, I can always adjust it. So, so, so yeah, going to do that right now, make a hole and mount it. All right, guys, and after a little bit of uh, struggling and mounting, this is done. I'm terribly sorry about the sun reflection and the this and the screen flickering, it doesn't flicker when you look at it. But this is mounted, seems to be secured. Hopefully it's not gonna fall. Uh, when I powered it up, I had uh, my roll angle was fine, but my pitch length angle was off. So what I had to do, you have to long press. Whenever you set it up, make sure that that's how you like the screen. You have to kind of default it First of all, you have to stay on an even surface. Then you long press the off button for at least like 10 to 15 seconds. It's kind of gonna power off. Then you turn it off. All right, guys, and this unit I have powered up, just temporary. I have an old cable from a GoPro and it fits perfect. And then I can just power from over there. So as you can see, it's working as well. So if I move this around and it exceeds 30 degrees, it starts to beep, so that's pretty cool. Whichever way I go. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna mount it somewhere. Probably just gonna mount it temporary, as if we're still testing this all. And uh, yeah, gonna start jacking up the car from different sides and see how they react. 
these units. Okay guys, so I pretty much have it set up one unit over here. This one I secured over here. This one I still have to figure out how I'm gonna secure it just for temporary use. This one, I don't even want to use it. <laughs> Because if you shake it, it rattles, it makes noise, and um, I don't think this particular unit is even that accurate. Maybe I'll keep it in place just for the sake of it, but I just don't like it. The whole build quality... I just don't like it. <laughs> so I might not even bother with this one. I mean, that was like the second cheapest one. This one was the cheapest, then this was this unit. Then it was this unit and this unit. As you can see, I mounted. It's staying in place. Uh, the mounting base for it is probably the weakest point. Hopefully it's not gonna break or anything, but we'll keep it in there for now. So now everything is pretty much where it's gonna be. Of course, I'm gonna secure these two guys somehow, somewhere in here. Sure, why not? Something like that. I'm gonna remove that mat and just uh, with a double stick tape just put it in, in place. This actually has a double stick tape in the back as well, so you just can just stick it somewhere, somewhat more flat. But of course, it's only gonna give you the roll angle. It doesn't give you the the pitch unless you use two of them and you mount it somewhere on a on a panel, maybe here, one like that and one like that. That way you can. I guess figure out your roll and pitch angle. So let me just put something over here to hold this in place. All right, so right now I'm just drove a little bit on my driveway and and it's at a bit of an angle. So this one actually shows I'm at uh, about 10, between 10 and 11 degrees of a pitch on that unit. This unit, of course, is not showing anything because it's not for that. <laughs> For the roll unfortunately now this unit only shows between um, eight to seven percent which originally they both were pretty much at zero so that one was seeing straight but it's kind of moves back and forth and that one i cannot even tell what's it showing come on wait are you showing anything wake up yeah, that one I cannot even figure out what's, what it's showing. So, like I said, this unit, I really... It's pretty useless, I feel like. So, right now, it's just basically between this one and this one. And for the roll, is this one. So, yeah. All right, guys. As you can see, I lifted up one side of the truck. So, I mean, it's not a huge angle still, but... At least we can see some kind of readings now on our mirrors. So let me go inside the truck and we'll see what's the readings of it right now. All right, and over here we are somewhere around uh, six, between six and eight, I guess. We about between six, four, five, it skips jumping over here. And over here on the roll, we're between five and six because I guess the truck is vibrating, so I guess. And on this unit, this unit, let's say it was supposed to be here. Yeah, it's like on the way to 10. I mean, somewhat kind of can tell what's going on, but I don't even want to bother with this one anymore, to be honest. It is somewhat accurate, I guess. They all kind of show within the same spec. So I guess this one is kind of work, but it's not a true number. I mean, you have to guesstimate between 0 and 15, between 15 to 30, you kind of have to figure it out. Over here it kind of shows you the numbers, what they are, and of course over here as well. So, these three guys more or less in the same, it just this is a kind of general number, and these two are showing more specific numbers. And this one is not showing anything, so yeah. Alright, so let me load the truck, and um, so far so good. So, what did we learn, guys? Do they work? Yes. Some of them work better than the others. Some of them don't work at all. Of course, there is, like I said, there is a different options available. Uh, for From ARB, there's another unit that is over $400, which has some separate module and separate screen that you can take out from the car. You can 
it can work wirelessly but why would you need it outside of the car if you are the one inside the car driving <laughs> and yeah i don't know but anyways so as we saw those units are working like i said some are better than the others now those two the electronical ones are somewhat better and more straightforward i think you can actually see the numbers and whatnot which angle you are going at now the very simple one with a air bubble it's you can use it as a for the roll indicator so i guess that might be fine you don't have to run any wires you can stick it anywhere and flat in front of you and that's gonna work just fine you can have two of them one for the pitch and one for the roll i mean it it can work now out of the other two I'm probably gonna keep one and you probably guys already know which one I'm gonna keep much much later all right guys so now we're gonna go a little bit of an obstacle over here an incline and as you can see the numbers are changing so it's gonna be a big incline over here well it's not big but it's still an incline and as you can see the, the numbers are changing we're going up we're going to the side and whatnot so it's working it's pretty nice and if you guys use anything similar to this or something better please also let me know maybe i'm gonna look into it as well i know there's always something better out out there but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this little video maybe you guys were looking into something like that maybe you wanted to see how it works so like i said there are two units i like them the most and they seems to be more practical they have more options in there one has more options than another but of course it's another thing how long they gonna last but nothing lasts forever wherever it's electronical so gotta keep that in mind but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i hope you might find it helpful and as always until next time everybody bye